day 21 of the federal government partial shutdown now tied with the longest shutdown in U.S. history. It is a complete and utter failure of one of the government's most basic responsibilities because today, for nearly one million Americans, FBI agents and Border Patrol officials, doctors trying to cure diseases, inspectors trying to keep your food safe, today is payday without any pay. 0.00 is the amount federal workers who are either furloughed or still working without compensation are seeing on their paychecks today. This is the paycheck of William Striffler. He's an air traffic controller at Newark Airport in New Jersey. He worked 64 hours this pay period. His wife is pregnant with their first child. It's a baby girl due next week. This should be one of the happiest moments of our lives. And, you know, we have this hanging over our head. It's really an unfortunate situation to have to worry about that. The effects can be felt across the nation. Miami International Airport will begin closing a terminal early because of a shortage of TSA agents, a spokesman for the airport, saying that federal screeners are calling in sick at double the normal rate. That's a story first reported by CNN and falsely and, frankly, immaturely attacked by the spokesman for the Department of Homeland Security and then retweeted by President Trump. Tampa International Airport is starting a food bank for the roughly 700 government employees who work there. And the Washington Post reported on a tip sheet provided for Coast Guard employees to get by without pay, the sheet says. They should consider holding a garage sale or babysitting, dog walking, or serving, serving as a mystery shopper. Bankruptcy is a last option, the document advised. And while federal employees, such as William Striffler, work without pay, the elected officials responsible for the shutdown are being paid without work. At 2 p.m. today, the Senate adjourned for the weekend. A short time later, the House adjourned as well. President Trump had not one sympathetic word today for the employees of the organization he heads, the federal government, getting all those 0.00 checks today. But the president has been tweeting about the reason he will not sign a government spending bill, tweeting in part, quote, the steel barrier or wall should have been built by previous administrations long ago. They never got it done. I will.